<laughs> Fitting noise to get things started. Hello, everyone. Oh, hold on. I already missed up. No, no, I didn't. How are we all doing? Hope everybody's doing well. We have four bags left on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I just realized it didn't pop out chat. It's, I was looking at my overlay like, what am I missing here? It was chat all along. Uh, we got quite a few, quite a bit of it done yesterday. We're here to finish it today. Um, yeah, we got a lot of pieces in motion here. So, the, uh, whatever we're building will probably wrap around to this. Oh, Steven, it's all right. You're here now, and that's what matters. Um, obviously, I want you to stick around, so don't touch that dial. Well, when you're celebrating... Hold on, this is just for you, Steven. You know, we got Saints Avenue up here. With the the the, the, hot, the warmest piece of clothing I own right here. Keeps me nice and fresh, but you know, underneath... Yeah, it's a little... A little warm in here. Let me just take this off uh, and reveal the the shirt underneath. Got to get all our sports talk out before J Man inevitably pops in, right? <laughs> yes. Who dat? Saints win today. I think uh, the only thing that could have made the day better was Olave. Not uh, having some dropsies going on there, uh, but you know. I think he'll be okay. I think Olave just is a little out of sorts lately, which is weird. But Mike Thomas, you know, over 60 yards, came to play. Taysom Hill, two touchdowns. Derek Carr, 310 passing yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, AK had a rushing touchdown, receiving one of the receiving touchdowns. Obviously, Sh 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 Shahid had the other one. Shahid is just unreal. Yeah, unreal stat line today. Three catches for 153 yards. 51 yards average. My man was cooking. Oh, shoot. I just hit my camera there. Yeah, they were going through being sick. I uh, posted a comment. I sent it to uh, Sats, actually. <laughs> AK's, AK said something like, they, they, they don't have the shits. I didn't get the shits like everyone else. AK said something like that. Taysom was so good, man. I mean, there's a direct correlation with how, how often the Saints win, with how often Taysom Hill gets the ball. And, dude, I do not care who's getting the ball in the red zone. I don't care what our red zone offense looks like. All I care about is that we win and we score. And people will be like, oh, but Derek Carr, this, Derek Carr, that. Like, dude, I don't know. He scored 38 points. We won. I don't give a shit if Jameis Winston's thrown it, Taysom Hill's thrown it, Derek Carr. So the Saints fans want one thing. The dub. I'm doing the Jameis right there. The dub, right? The W. <laughs> you see, I gotta, I'm grabbing the, uh, the Camara quote here. Hang on. He said, uh... Yeah. They got that shit bug. <laughs> that's that's what Kamara had to say. Kamara did not get the shit bug though. So that was good. Made the Colts. I mean, the Colts aren't exactly like a phenomenal team. But they're not a they're not a team you can sleep on, you know. So I'm glad we won. But more importantly, the Falcons lost. Falcons lost. Bucks lost on Thursday night. Uh, Panthers won today. So that's, that's cool and all, but Panthers got their first win of the season. Yeah, the shit bug. Um, anyway, good stuff. Um, I think we're good. Cool. I'm not doing any, like, Twitter go lives or anything. anymore or any pre-roll even and I turned off ads so there's all that anyway let's get going we have four bags left of this whole endeavor so just to catch you all up we lost part one of the VOD because I played the Donkey Kong 2 
Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack during it, and Twitch uh, muted the VOD, so it never got uploaded to YouTube. I couldn't. Um, here's the NES. Obviously, we built that in that one long stream back then that we lost, so that's unfortunate. Got that 1 2 kind of hiding in the side, which is kind of cool. Um, and of course, the uh, console does open. I just realized this is upside down, so. Console does open. And there's the uh, cartridge. Y'all were around for that though. Realize that it's delayed flat to work. Controller's attached to it. This does detach pretty easily though. So I'm gonna just scoot this thing over here so that I have more room to work with. Um, and then we made the TV. So that was, this is what we were doing yesterday. Here's the back of the TV. You see you got your uh, composite right there with your RF. If you use the RF, I used the RF for many years through the end of having an N64. Um, probably the power cable to the TV. It's got a little antenna that pops out here. So kind of a little antenna. And uh, the inside of the TV, pretty intricate here. We got a little thing on the side that turns. Obviously that's the level. This will eventually turn in front of the TV, but um, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, when you turn this lever, there are some gears that spin right here. Uh, it's hard to see. These, there's two red ones and a gray one. And then this little knob here also spins. But also in the back here, there's a couple gears that also turn. Uh, you can kind of see all that turn in there, which is kind of neat. So a lot of ambulation on the inside. Not sure how it all comes together yet, but... There's our tube TV, that's, that's part of it. And then we got this far on the actual uh, screen. So as you turn it, the level kind of like progresses and then it like loops on itself. So it like, you know, comes and goes, but we're gonna finish that today. Um, just realized, I think this camera's words. I'm gonna have to fix this for a future stream. You're seeing it upside down to me and I don't like that. If I could fix it right now, right now, maybe. Let's see. This is gonna take a minute of effort. What's up, everybody? Uh, if I turn this over. Okay, so this is backwards. So if I spin this around. still backwards. <laughs> I'm doing this wrong. So if I if I do it halfway, then eh, I'll just deal with it today. I'll have to fix it in the future. Getting this angle takes me the longest in my pre-go live, so I'm screwing that up. I have caused a bit of a problem for myself. pretty close a little little worse but whatever um yeah it's a cool set but we have four bags to go here technically bag 20 is two bags um so we have 19 20 and 21 and then that's it we're all done so we're looking to put this in the books today we're gonna get started with bag 19 uh which i left the pdf up from yesterday you should be able to see that right above me here Bag 19 looks to finish the, uh, the setup here. Now, I do want to mention November is right around the corner. And of course, my job is really lightening up on my workload, which is awesome. And I'm planning to make November a month, 30 days of content. I plan to be uploading something to YouTube every single day in the month of November, whether it is a short or a VOD. Um, and yeah, we're gonna have 30 days of content going live on YouTube, one per day. Uh, big bag here, so here's the open part of bag 19, here's the smaller part of bag 19, there's a little bag inside, sorry, I usually uh, showcase the bag. Yeah, we're gonna try to do 30 days of content in November, uh, that's the plan. I might adjust the rule depending on how it goes. I might count streaming days uh, as content days because Twitch allows us to multi-stream again. And 
I need to take advantage of that, so I'm probably going to start setting up my multi-stream again, which is cool. Um, I have to be careful how I do it, but I honestly don't think anybody's going to come after me, because, you know, I'm not... <laughs> not like not a not a partnered you know so twitch allows restream and i gotta get back on it so there each night i stream i'll technically be on youtube at the same time i'm on twitch so that counts as content that's being put on youtube uh, and i won't have to upload my vods to youtube anymore because youtube will just have them um which is super helpful quite honestly um so yeah exactly so that's the hope is that i just um set that up so i'll be probably doing that um as of november 1st i'm giving myself a very close deadline to set up a restream i used to use i forget what did i use before restream.io no I use some sort of service in the past for me streaming. Oh, wait, that's not a blink. It's a star. Yeah, that was one of the cool things that came out of TwitchCon. Um, not sure what the motivation was. All I care is that they let you. Uh, I have obeyed the rules of being an affiliate up to this point. I'm one of the chumps that do it right. <laughs> so... I do plan to follow the rules to the best of my ability, and now that it's allowed, I can, you know, get a little, a little more exposure. I mean, the thing, the fact of the matter is, I have made, I mean, I've made quite a bit on Twitch with subs and stuff, which is not bad this year, but between crowd control and sponsorships, even the one sponsorship I did with Stream Elements, I've made just as much money which isn't a lot, obviously. Um, uh, doing other stuff than just waiting for a Twitch payout on subs and bits. And it's like... Not that monetization's the only thing I do here. Obviously, I, I stream what I like, and I do what I want, and I do it for fun. Um, but the fact that I can give myself just a little more exposure uh, is nice. So... For small streamers like me, it's it's a benefit to be able to hit a restream and be able to thymeal cast or whatever, however you want to see it. So it only serves to benefit the little guy, and I'm cool with that. I don't anticipate YouTube drawing. I mean, I'll have that chat open uh, so I can see what it does, but I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, YouTube, YouTube picks up, that'd be cool. But I don't, uh, I don't know what to expect from it. But I'm glad to, if it's a button that I hit and it does all the work for me, uh, why not? You know, let's just let let it be, let it be what it is. Uh, I'm just cruising right now, and you can tell I'm just building the uh, setup here. I wonder if I can. Let me see. I'm going to flip vertical. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That's all I had to do. All right. Look at how much better that looks. Hell yeah. All right. It looks, now it matches how I see. You're literally looking at it from my vantage point. So that's really awesome. Um, anyway. I know, right? <laughs> it was a little too easy. <laughs> I probably should have thought of that sooner. Um, but yeah, with my workload really changing at work and the nature of my work really going in a different direction because I'm at the end of the year you know I'm at the end of my all the stuff that I have to do uh, and I shouldn't say that I'm at the end of stuff it's not like I'm gonna go to work and sit around all day I have a lot of stuff that I still need to do it's just I'll be kind of way more in control of the pace of my work and I'll be the one like getting tasks done instead of being scheduled for classes and meeting deadlines for meetings with stakeholders and you know uh, having content done to submit to other teams in time like I won't have to do any of that anymore which is nice I'm on my own time because I'm on my own time um, I'm able I feel like I've 
more flexibility to do what I want at night, you know, stream and if I need to go in a little later or start a little later because I wanted to stay online a little later, like I can do that. Whereas before it's like, well, I got this 8 a.m. meeting and I've got this four hour class and I got all the stuff I got to do, you know, and there'll still be work to do. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, we're now we're putting the studs. Got it. Um, so it'll be nice. We'll be in control of that. So, if I'm right, Stephen. We have the Bears next week, and then we have the Vikings without Kirk Cousins, and then we have the bye, and then we play Atlanta. Right? I'm pretty sure that's the Saints' schedule. That's. Atlanta off the bye. We're at Atlanta though, so obviously that's a that's a tough tough game. Um, doesn't matter how good or bad either team is. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that was the most time. So that's gonna be a good good uh good test for the boys. I think the Bears, which are who did they, did they play tomorrow? Is tomorrow is Monday Night Football Lions Bears? No, Lions. That's it. And then to right now, it's Chargers Las Vegas starts just as it is going right now, right? Saints have an agreeable schedule. The offense is starting to click now. Pelicans are 2-0. and oh. Having a good week, man. Week. All right. This has been a fun, fun little step. I thought this would be really tedious. It's not at all. This has been really fun to do. It's a cool set. After this set, Oh, wait, one, two. Okay, so these need to be brown. Yep. Uh, we're going to do the Horizon Zero Dawn Tall Neck. Then we're going to do the N64 Cube. Uh, then we're probably going to do Monkey Kid City of Lanterns. So we have a lot of good stuff in the works, so to speak, in the, in the shoot. And I'll probably get my hands on another set by then. Um, so I feel like this was supposed to be like July or August's big set. We kind of really fell off on LEGO streams, which is my fault. Uh, but, you know, we're back on it. And we won't let off the gas. I do want to play... I've mentioned this in streamer chat, but I kind of want to play all of the ease games in chronological order or not chronological order in lore order and uh you know they're action rpgs some of them we can beat in one to two streams like the older ones but some of the newer ones really good games oops I that star again pesky little star keeps working its way on the board here This is Zelda? I don't know. I don't know my old Nintendo games very well. Isn't this a Zelda? They all look the same. <laughs> this song is super jazzy. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite. 
my favorite songs I've heard from this mix. It's a Korok hidden in the TV. I'd be so mad. I would destroy it. Immediately. It's good. Steven, we got all this we got all the sports ball talk out before Jamie and got here. Hey, who are we kidding? We're not done yet. <laughs> Just put those in. These are all flat blues. I keep seeing the other monkey kid, uh, Ultra Mech, at work in the damage section, and I don't, I don't buy it. I would, I do really want it really bad, but I feel like. Uh, Red Plaid Mom is not on board with me having a second big monkey robot in my house. <laughs> they don't. It'll stay at the price it's at. I won't say the number, but... Not a lot of people buy Monkey Kids, so it's been in there a while. Just like with the uh, the Spider Queen. It sat for a little bit, and I knew I wanted it, and I'm very glad I jumped on it when I did. Uh, what is this? So there's that gray. How does this attach? Does it just attach to the, the gray? I think it does. at the end. Let's buy two blues all the way up. Alright, still got a lot of pieces here, so what's next? Ah Okay, so the dark one goes here. No, yeah, I get you, but, you know, Lego doesn't probably want to take a complete loss on it. And they know somebody will, somebody will take it eventually. The only sets that I've seen sit in that damage section all year, oddly enough, there was a, like, a collection of Queer Eye sets. There was a bunch of them. There was, like, a whole dozen or so of them sitting there. Those are still not not all of those have been purchased yet. <laughs> I'm not sure why that one set just wasn't popular, uh, but not even employees want it for 75 percent. There are some other monkey kid sets there too, but I own all the other ones that are in damaged, so I uh, don't want duplicates. But they tend to sit. Alright, is that... Oh, a Goomba goes here. Oh shit, that becomes a pipe. This becomes a pipe. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, a blue goes here. goes here. This way. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks right. Oh, okay, and then these go here. Okay. There we go. Oh. Well, that was a spare, so I'm not too torn about that. There we go. There it is. The whole thing. 
These, I found out what these are for on top, by the way. So these Mario, um, the Mario guy goes on top of the TV. And as you turn this Mario, like this go, these go under Mario and he reacts to them in specific ways, which line up to the, I think we covered that in the last stream, but cool. Bag 19, here we are. Ah, we're not done. Okay. Yeah, that's what mine looks like. Ah, okay, so now we're flipping over. And we're grabbing our, this thing. Okay, so these go at the bottom, the little colors. This needs to, so I rem, okay, these need to be down, but we also need to make sure this is a plus and the pluses are up and down, so that's it. All right, so this attaches to the blue. Under the blue and orange. I feel shit. And uh, getting the belt lined up. I feel like that's what I'm doing here. Shoot. I am kerfluffled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, these don't line up. Wait a minute. thing oh god okay going in the tv now hang on here we go so these two pluses i'm assuming line up to these pluses in the tv yep all right Oh, the red goes through the... Oh, shh. needs the other stuff to tighten up a little more. But it does work. It does. Will it spin? Yes, is the answer. Bag 20. Remember, bag 20. We got two bags here. Um, with this bag here. Got quite a few big pieces in it. And then the second bag 20, which looks to be our details. 
with that little front thing that you can see right here. All right. Um, bag funnel. J-Man, I did do a 180 flip on the camera. I think it kind of looks, this one looks better the way it's angled. So, that changed. We're improving again. Already trying something new. Yeah. All right. Bag 20. We start with all these last one the same one. Maybe they are. Okay. Well, well you start with this and if it's wrong it's wrong. It looks to be correct though. Flip it over. Another red. Another red. the same sheen I don't see you can see the black pieces a little better than I can Wait, on the top down the way the light hits the camera it's actually easier to see them than the way I can see them J-Man, I need you to Google Raiders Chargers score and tell me everything it tells you. Put that in your Google search history, please. Chargers are in the league. I need to know. What's the score? Who, what time? Who has the ball? Where are they on the field? I need all the details. Chargers need a dub right now, so. Love my boy Justin Herbert. Ah, this is the top. There it is. 24 to 7. That is expected. This is where Mario goes. I'll also be finishing Hitchhiker's Guide music slightly loud. I had to adjust it on the fly today, so I gave it just a touch. To be fair, that's probably the most intense chill hop song I've ever heard <laughs> in this whole mix. <coughs> <clears throat> Chill hop is usually very, uh, very mild. 
Oh, I get it. The yellows are how it attach. The yellow is slightly higher than the white when you attach these, and then they go underneath. So the yellow is how they. I've been just trying to line up the white. up on the team that we talk about all the time yet. <laughs> the New Orleans Saints. Is that really the whole thing? Flip it over. I'm putting it on the top of the TV. Uh, TV icon in front. <laughs> Hold on. No. Absolutely not. Oh, wait. We're, we're literally building on here. Okay, let me, let me bring you back, buddy. You know what? I'm going to put you back here. The bricks in front of me. Okay. So we're... Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, we're doing that now. Got it, got it. Yeah, this is what I think it needed to be a little more stable. This whole like turny situation, I could tell it was a little kind of off. Need a little more support to be smooth. This is it. <laughs> J Man literally like, I thought this was animation dominate. I'm here. Why? Where's Bob's Burgers? Why is it football? <laughs> This is not flat either, it's a little brick. Send picks. I will do picks of the finished product with for certain. Stream probably won't be too long. We have only one bag to go. I'm gonna raid somebody and I'm gonna head to bed. I got an office day tomorrow, but I want that to slow me down. We gotta pretty much put up streams for the rest of the month. I don't even know how many I'm gonna hit if I stream every day. I might not even hit ten, but we'll be darn close. No, that does not mean. I'm streaming Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. No! I knew exactly what you were about to say. I heard Fortnite Season 1's map is coming back. Is that true? That's true. I gotta get Steven's brother on a stream. <laughs> Early November? Yeah. Grab my bro. Get in there. Get some victory royale. 
files on the original Fortnite. Okay. Ooh, let's get it fancy. Curved pieces. Hmm. It's like, it gets wild, the kind of stuff you're putting together. It's like, look at this thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we need one. Big brown square. side I bet next oh we're not oh oh okay okay two-inch monitor right now. Okay. Green. Okay. I had to have this talk with somebody at the football field today. So, you know, my daughter cheers. It sucks. The, uh, her, our town football team went undefeated this year, and then the refs were really bad today, and they were, had a first-round playoff exit. So my town is eliminated from the playoffs in the first round today, but it was a really dirty game. It's a really rainy day here. It just wasn't a good football day. Um, they were... Uh, eliminated in the first game, which sucks. Uh, and uh, as I'm sitting in the concession stands, because I got stuck in concessions again, uh, some guy walks up and he's like, I'm wearing my Saints hoodie. He said it was cold as hell. He's like, yo, you like the Saints? Like, how, the Saints? He's like, you know the Saints? How do you like the Saints, man? And I want to be like, Dude, you're talking like I chose this? You think I, out of all the pain I feel being a fan of a football team? You think I, <laughs> I'm where I'm at, man. <laughs> like, it's, it's as bad as it gets being a fan of this this team. And then we won. So, good on them, but... Had a fun interaction today having to explain, you know... I I'm a fan of something that has done nothing but hurt me for 13 years. Man was also wearing a Falcon's hat, so... That might have had something to do with my... this poor attitude. Alright, so this has steps. We need a blue brown thing. Brown thing goes on other brown thing. Which then, spoiler, we add a another brown thing underneath the 
brown thing, and then attach the brown thing to other brown things. And that's how you build Lego. <laughs> Found, you know. Alright, brown thing? And guess what? Now we're gonna put this brown thing on the other brown thing differently than last time, which then we add a third brown thing. Alright, so we got the shell here. As you can tell, the shell to our front of our TV. This is a 2xer. Oh, you almost had me. You almost had me. Wait, I only have two of these total, though. Oh, no, wait, no, I don't. I have four. Okay. Okay. three plates, two on each one. These are plates, right? Yep. <laughs> the label on this piece is low tech. <laughs> Text going on right in the middle here. Cool. And then three, four. It says five. Oh, right here. Let me just flatten these really quick. things on this step so we've got one by threes going on the top and bottom here Have 
some sort of all these pieces have print on them which is super cool but I need so this goes here the green in the middle but there's another printed piece I need to find here this channel and it's got a little like red blue red green on it this is the tuner all right so tuner and then 4x okay so on the other side see here there's uh, little things going on there so we gotta do that Let's <laughs> take this step by step. Big piece right there. Got it. Uh, okay. And then this has the contrast. So it's like a contrast, brightness, and then this is probably volume. Goes like that. Again, all printed pieces, which I know is a huge, big deal for LEGO fans, so kind of cool to see, honestly. Okay. And then this is UHF, VHF, on, off. This is another printed piece. Awesome to see. Um. Oh, it was hiding. I need one more black one by three. It was hard to see under all these gray pieces on a black surface. It was indeed there. Cool, all right. They had um, movement to them, articulation, but they do not. Sixteen of these. Oh, I guess I have a bunch. All right, so they slant up. They slant up towards the middle, like a Michael Thomas route. Say, ball don't lie, man.
Ah, uh, I'm not sure why they're circled, but okay. Seems pretty easy enough. Holy shit. All right. One extra piece there. Just a single light green light stud. All right, well, this is gonna go to the side and we are on the last bag. Bag 21. The last bag of the bill, of the bill, of the bill, of the bill. Oh. Bag from There it is. Flip it over. Lots of stuff going on here. Uh, we got our little Mario. There he is. Right there. And we got a mini bag in there as well. So, here we go. of this. Hang on. It's my chat manager, but it's also my phone. So. You're here. You're seeing this picture happen live. Pink studs going in one. Well, a blue gets pushed in. And then a pink stud goes on top. And then that goes on the lower. The two. And the other one just gets placed. Placed on. Oh, where is that? Well, Oh, look yeah, at this thing. Very strange green piece. Uh, beds. It's got. It's actually bendy. It's rubbery, kind of. It does not. Doesn't have that same. Uh, you know, Lego brick feel. It just gets slid through here. Okay. That's the whole step. Oh man, we got stuff going on. Is this symmetrical? It is. Okay. Oh, wait, does this get pushed in all the way? Oh, it does! Oh, neat. Okay. Okay, we got a. making a contraption here. So we've got. big gear. Somewhere, here it is. Okay. Four. 
What is this for? I don't know what that four is. Oh, it's just this number piece. Okay. Okay, so put a old guy. Oh, it goes the other way. Okay. But which, where's the... This goes through. Oh. It makes... A, oh, man. Oh. And it stops. Oh, man. That's cool. Okay. I don't know if I can... You can kind of hear it makes a little noise. Got that tactile feel. And this will come through the other side. Got it. And then we're looking for the dial. Alright, so this needs to go on. These are neat. Little like tripod looking things. They have a unique shape. Dots. No, I said tripod. They're literally like trapezoidal, triangle looking, pyramid looking. He's just kind of, they don't ambulate, which is a little bit of a bummer, but whatever. All right, step 209, page 219, put the screen near the TV. <laughs> All right, check. Wait, what? Oh, they're just done. Red, yellow. supposed to be a microphone. Oh. We're using it as a kind of a peg now. Alright, so then Mario goes on the peg. TV keeps needing room. <laughs> Get this cable out of the way. Okay. Okay. 
Mario's on. Oh, and then we put a this. one of these, right? Yeah. On the little peg here. Okay. Okay. How does Mario know to not get stuck? I guess he just does. Okay. Two TV fronts going on. this. Alright. Waited a long time for this. For this moment here. So. Alright, let's do it. Let's get the, uh, the TV front on here. Look at that. It's not quite done, but we're getting so close now. Looks so cool. Awesome. All right. Oh, this looks like a pain in the ass. All right, here we go. Brown. 40. 40 of these we have to put on. And then they just say, throw your finger on it. Straighten them out. These aren't studs, though. Wait a minute. Unless they are. These are. Oh, and they go. Wait. Upside down. for the one person who did this the wrong way. This is really the best way to do this. 40 one by one studs. Hey, ring bolt. <laughs> good. Things are good. We're almost done, actually. I'm on, uh, as you can see in this step right now, I have to put 40 one by one studs underneath this brown piece. <laughs> right now we're doing, well, that. Uh, we're coming along, though. Things are going pretty well here. There's a, a better look. This is probably the most tedious step that I've come across. Besides when we had to make the... Oh man, it looks awesome. It's off camera right now. It'll be back on in just a sec. We just put the front on. And it was so cool looking, I clipped it. We're very close now, as you can see. We're just getting the top. Yeah, Mario's on there now. The dial actually, like, clicks and articulates, so... We're really close. We're about to put it... This is the last bag right here, so we are nearly done.
Okay. There we go. 40 of these things. Um, underneath a brown plate. Yeah, when you can tell it's so... When you're close to... Oh, it feels so good when you're like... You're starting to see it all come together. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I think what's cool about the building is... Uh, Lego sets are so good at showing you uh, some you know, Easter eggs and fun details about a set while you're building. So it's like, even though you're just building the end product, there's so many other little things that went into it that you get to also appreciate. Oh, that's also very true. Luckily, I have them in my next three big builds already decided, so I'm excited to get those rolling. Um, flip over. These are cool. It's like a black plate, two by four, but it's got a well, one by two at the top, so it's like a little L shape. Okay, so this way, do this. Oops. Ooh, all right, putting that in. Calm down, everybody. And this is plugging in right here. didn't have the angle that I will. This could go on a little better. It's right there, it's just a very exact fit. again. Big step here. Yeah, I haven't spun it yet. I'm, I'm waiting on that. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh man. Oh, it's stuck. disastrous but we persevered these what are these big oh that's probably the the lights wait a minute okay Okay. Oops. Bumped 
gotcha. Ah, there we go. Got it. Turn it around again. Whew. Oh, okay. I guess we're turning it upside down anyway. Got it, boss. And then we're adding three gray. This one's going to go here. It's gonna go here. And it's gonna go here. Right? Doesn't have bunny ears, it's got a single antenna in the back that comes up. Like that. <laughs> it's got a bunny ear. <laughs> I think this is... Oh, it looks like they're supposed... Oh, this is one off. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Gotta get that. The Mario frequencies. That was weird. Didn't it just make me do this? Why is it covers the huh? That doesn't ambulate though. How do you get to that? Huh. That's true, you can just get a second antenna. Alright, so I'll put that aside. If we're building our base now, and that should be rounding the final corner here. Big boy, smaller boy. Two more smaller boys. You can put Mario on top. That's what I thought, but you have to take this off to do that. Weird. Maybe if there's an easy way to take it off that I'm just not aware of. I don't know. We'll let. Don't. Uh, I try not to get ahead of myself. You know. I want to let the build guide me. I like when I have questions because. Wait, two X. So when Mario's on top and you spin it, Mario will like respond differently to the obstacles, which is super neat. I just don't know how all that works yet. I have. Oh, Mario has batteries. I have each though. I don't even know where my Mario is. Oh, he's down there. We'll see. We'll see. I do know Peach's batteries, so at the very least. Let's see if Peach can do it. Get you back. Doing this four times. You know they make taller, you know, single stud stacks like this. I wonder why they 
Like you do build them sometimes, or as other times they're just built. Get the bigger brick. Probably a cost thing. Gotta keep that piece count up. Make it worth the price. <laughs> Could also be it. Look at this. This is it. I can see the parts list in the BI. <laughs> And then a single stud. There you have it. I'm about to finish this. Three spare pieces. gray pieces on which align with these gray pieces here. Wait, they don't. Oh, I see. Is this not? doesn't actually press, it just rests on the stand. There it is. First look at the TV. There you have it, everyone. Let me truth though. Can we turn? Which way does this go? goes. There's the whole loop. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Look at it again. So here's the TV for 7137... Oh, 71384. Right? No, so... Yep. So here it is, the TV for 71374. We can uh, 
ambulate this little dial, makes little quick noises as we do. Of course, the main attraction is letting Mario run through the level. We do that too. <laughs> little dial on the side. Awesome. Uh, antenna. So there's the antenna on top. Oh no. <laughs> I tried to put it on the side. Gotta remember. I can't do that anymore. There's the antenna. The TV. And of course, uh, we have the NES, which we completed prior to. Uh, but here's the NES and the controller. Controller got the cable coming out. And then the NES itself, which I showed at the beginning of stream, but here it is again. Uh, level 1 2 hiding on the inside. Right there. And uh, the cartridge clicks out just like you're used to. Here's my Super Mario Bros. cartridge. Put that back in. Yep. There you have it. 71374. Nintendo Entertainment System. But of course, I want to know about Mario here. We can Peach respond to everything. So what's weird is you feel like you need a brick separator. Get this top off. Right? Not everybody would want to use that feature, but I don't love how hard this is. Unless there's a trick that they don't make clear. Peach, she's on. All right, so it started the Mario song. Interesting. Okay. Sure how that works, but cool. I'll be leaving that off. I'm gonna take some pictures of this now and submit them to Twitter and Discord. But yeah, there you have it. We finished hour 30 in. Looking pretty good on time. Uh, so we have finished 71374 and Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, three part series, not too bad. What's next for us? closet at the moment, but it's the Tall Neck, Horizon Zero Dawn Tall Neck. Uh, but yeah, let me drop y'all off somewhere, hanging out with some friends, and we'll uh, see y'all soon for another LEGO build. Who is streaming right now is the question. Mm -hmm.
let's see here. Fred Nudo. We'll go here. Cool. All right, I gotta move this over. Sorry, everybody. I'm gonna braid Beauty and the Geek. Uh, they have one viewer right now, so I'm gonna go say hi. While I take some pictures, we'll hang out with them for a little bit. I will see you all soon. Uh, so, thanks for stopping in. Take care. Is that, did I spell all this right? I gotta make sure. All right, see y'all soon. Move to four. That's good. going.